hello viewers welcome once again to my channel this is Elma Fa. <laughs> okay so in today's video oh, we're going to be answering the question down below i mean the title of this video who is talking to your king so before we get started if you are already subscribed to my channel I want to say a big thank you and if you are yet to please 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 subscribe okay who is talking to your king do you know who is talking to your king the king i'm talking about here is not the ruler of your geographical area no the king i'm talking about can be your husband it can be your wife it can be your boss it can be your destiny helper i mean the person that god has positioned to favor you in the bible something happened in the book of esther we all know the story of esther but just for the sake of maybe somebody's watching this video and you're asking what's what's what, what happened in esther okay i want this video to be short so i will just go over just briefly okay there was a king who um had a very beautiful wife and the king had a banquet kind of a party or a celebration and at the end of the party he called for the wife to come and stand before his um colleagues like he want to show off the beauty want to the, the the queen to show off her beauty okay and the queen refused to come before the king and the bible says the thing displeased the king okay but what Vashti did was a disobedience of which it was it, it has a reason okay but for the emphasis for the sake of emphasis of this video i want us to look at it from this angle because when the queen refused to come before the king the colleagues of the king the princes around the other kings around they told the king to banish the wife who is the queen Vashti and the Bible says that the thing pleased the king okay when you read chapter 2 of Esther from verse 1 the Bible says the following day when the, the king's anger went down and the king was appeased he remembered Vashti he remembered his wife he remembered his queen and what has been done against her you see as humans most of the times we do things out of anger out of so many things provoke people to take decisions that later they regret okay but this is where the, the 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 emphasis for this video is when the king was appeased and remembered his wife the verse 2 of chapter 2 says the the servants of the king told the king you see look for a wife look for a, another woman you see we have been blessed by god but god used people to bless us okay god positioned some people in our lives to take us to a different level in life we all depend on some people to climb the ladder of success okay so this person god has positioned to favor you to bless you the people around them matter what the people around them are saying about you matters a lot 
So this is what happened. The king was appeased, remembered his wife, probably, who, who knows, maybe he could change his mind and take back the decree, cancel the decree or something. But no, a servant, not even a king, anybody can say anything to your destiny helper and things can change. It can be your wife, it can be your husband. That man has been treating you in a way that it's not good. But just the time that he, he comes to his senses and like think um, at this way that I've been treating this woman, this man, and this person remembers how you people used to be before. Just at that time, somebody will come. Ah, forget about that, your wife. Forget about that, your husband. So, 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 and so, he, that you don't deserve that kind of person. Look for a different person. You see that contract you've been, you've been praying for. You, but who is talking to that your boss? Who is talking to that your employer? It matters a lot. So, what I want us to do from today is pray that God should position godly people around your destiny helpers. And even if they are not godly, in the book of Numbers, the story, you, you get it clear when you read from uh, chapter uh, yeah, chapter 22. But the effort, for the sake of what I'm saying, the verse 23, the Bible says that they, 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 they called for uh, ba Balaam to come and curse the children. Balak called for ba Balaam to come and curse the children of Israel. But the Bible said that when it came, when you read from 22, I think from 21, you get the, the whole story. The Bible said when it came, instead of curses, the Lord programmed blessings in his mouth. And instead of cursing, he blessed the, the children of Israel. So that should be your prayer. Don't wake up and just pray for you, for your 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 family alone pray also for who is talking to your king because it matters for you to find favor before your king it depends on those who are talking to him because as humans most of the time we want to take decisions we want to listen to what others have to say so if you have favor before those talking to your destiny helper or your king like i put it for the sake of this video it will go a long way to doing you good. So please be aware of this and always consistently pray for your destiny helpers. Grace to be able to take firm decisions and also that God should position people that will favor you around them. And it shall be well with you and I. In Jesus mighty name so the Lord bless you and cause his face to shine upon you amen